Hey everyone, it's Ryan. Welcome back to the Syntax Byte. In this video, we're going to cover how I used AI to automatically sync song lyrics. And so we're going to cover some of the challenges that that posed and the end result. And now this is a project that I first got the idea for while over the holidays I was listening to lots of Spotify and I realized that Spotify did not actually already have this functionality built in. And I was actually a bit surprised by this. The lyrics are often kind of poorly timed on Spotify and I actually dismissed this in the past thinking that it was probably just due to them being AI generated, of course. Of course, the AI is not gonna be perfect, right? Uh, but I guess it's not, so whoops. Anyway, the song that gave a sad, these lyrics aren't synced to the song yet, was none other than Evacuate the Dance Floor by Cascada. So this song would form the basis of my testing. So I started off this project by thinking, you know, we have speech to text models, we have Siri, we have Google Voice, uh, and there are versions of these models available for the public to use. Um, so we should be able to use this to sync song lyrics. Um, and so that was kind of the basis for this project. This is what made me believe that it was possible to do this. Um, and so I started looking for a way initially just to isolate vocals in music because I thought this would make it easier for speech to text models to actually understand uh, the song. And so after briefly looking at methods to do this in Audacity and other audio tools, hoping that I would find a Python library I could sort of replicate the strategy with, I found Splitter by Deezer, which is actually a Python AI model that does this automatically. So this step was basically out of the, out of the way. Then it was time to find a speech to text library to use. For this, I found Whisper from OpenAI, the same people behind the now famous ChatGPT. With this library found, I put the separated vocals from Splitter through the model. Whisper has multiple models ranging in size from tiny to large. The larger models just require a bit more RAM to use, but they're actually a lot more accurate. I started with the base model, which is one step up from Tiny, and the initial results were pretty hilarious. I'll have them for you on screen right now, and the lyrics of the song were not recognizable at all in some areas. Moving up to the medium model though, I got much better results, although the lyrics weren't perfect. In particular, areas where the vocals have been distorted were not very well transcribed. They were certainly recognizable as the lyrics of the song, and something I thought I would be able to use to match up. Uh, with, with user inputted lyrics. So one of the other things that Whisper does that makes it really good for this application is that it automatically splits up audio into segments. And so I was able to use the timestamps from Whisper and then use text similarity to sync up the lyrics with the user provided lyrics. Uh, for the text similarity, I actually just used a simple jacquard similarity function uh, that I found in Python data analysis, third edition, which had that page available for free on Pact. Um, the function is relatively simple and it's all vanilla Python, uh, but it works well enough for what I need to do. And of course it runs very fast, so uh, that's good. So now to match up the lyrics with the segment from Whisper, the code compares the similarity between the speech to text generated segment and text samples of the unsync lyrics. Each sample adds a line from the unsync lyrics. So the first sample is the first line, second is the first two lines, third is the first three lines, etc. And it does this uh, for basically the whole song. And then the, the, the sample with the highest similarity is given the start time of the segments. And then those lyrics are removed from the unsynced pile. So we have a pile of unsynced lyrics, a pile of synced lyrics with timestamps. And of course, um, the lyrics that are already synced can't uh, be, a, be a potential. Uh, so, this, so it just compares samples um, of the unsynced lyrics. And so then this process is just repeated until all the segments have been matched up with lyrics. And at the end of the day, if there's any lyrics left, they just get tagged on um, with the final timestamp. And so the code actually produces something called an LRC file, which is a simple text-based file format for lyric syncing. And this allowed me to preview the result pretty easily. So there's a program called Mini Lyrics that's like a plugin for, for Windows Media Player. And this is kind of what I use to actually be able to see the result uh, and see how well the lyric syncing was working. But there's other programs that can read the same file if you want to go ahead and give this a try um, with your with uh, your own songs um, and see how it works for you. So uh, unfortunately, a lot of tracks are copyrighted, but I did go ahead and try this out with a royalty free track and uh, we can go ahead and take a look at the result now. You'll see.
Hope you enjoyed that. Overall, I was impressed with the results and they're perfectly usable in my mind. It does struggle a bit with repetitive lyrics, particularly towards the end of the song, uh, but besides this flaw, it works quite well. It does not provide exact line by line syncing, which is actually what Spotify does, uh, but in theory, this could be accomplished by dividing the time between the timestamps evenly. Uh, the syncing just wouldn't be quite exact. I did try swapping the text similarity function as Jacquard similarity does not take token duplication into account. And I thought this was what was leading uh, to the difficulty with uh, repetitive lyrics. But unfortunately, this led to results that were just completely out of sync, uh, not, not good results at all, uh, completely unusable. And so rather than fixing that small issue where maybe there were a few lines of the song that weren't quite properly synced, um, it, just, it just didn't work at all. Um, so I just went back to the Jacquard similarity in order to, uh, to, to ensure the best results. I will have a link to the GitHub repo where you could try this out for yourself in the description below. All you need is the song lyrics and MP3 of the song that you went to uh, that you wish to sync. So you could try this out for your own music. Let me know how it goes. Let me know what song uh, you tried it with and if it produced a good result, kind of mediocre result, something didn't make any sense at all. I'd love to hear it. I've only tested it with a few songs, but uh, so far it seems to work uh, really well. So Spotify and Music's match. If this is what I was able to accomplish in a few hours, why can't you implement something like this and remove the lyrics not sync message? It seems like it uh, would work well uh, and probably honestly about as good as a lot of the lyric syncing that's currently on Spotify today. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Like the video if you found it interesting. Subscribe if you want to see more of them and I will catch you in the next one.